Hello everyone out there in the wider world, thank you very much for coming out and uh, checking out this lovely little video of myself, the Sapien Son, as I play The Witcher 3. Now obviously we've done the previous episode where we talked to the Baron, um, we finished talking to the Crones and all that kind of stuff, and this is kind of like the build up, the conclusion of the Baron story. And I kind of wanted to do this now, before anything happens, before we go to Novigrad, before we go and kind of finish off Velen itself as a whole, and all that kind of stuff. So, before we do any of that, and etc, etc, because I do really do want to do a live stream where I go around Velen and kind of finish up these kind of contracts, these secondary type of quests, and just generally finish exploring it all very lovely and very beautifully, etc, etc, right? But, today... <laughs> right today and um, what I want to do is I want to go and finish the uh, Baron's quest so he's down here doing his bit this video is probably going to be like 15 minutes or so I just want to finish up because last time we didn't I didn't I, I didn't get a chance to and I basically said right come on let's finish the whole Baron's kind of thing and get the whole conclusion and it's going to be lovely etc right 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 <laughs> and by the way thank you very much we're at 34 subscribers now god bless you fantastic yeah gently thank you so much for doing that um so where was I yeah <laughs> right so we're going to go off finish this mission and then next episode we're gonna do a live stream etc and all the okay good right I'm gonna shut the fuck up and right let's go let's go flowing swamp pox ridden air promotes brine rot in the peasants crowns fuck me what will these high seeds think of next the crones exist you'll know that soon enough right more likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat at peasant mines. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold. <laughs> I can't tell you how hopeful he sounds and how much we know about the crones thinking, nah, they're big, dirty, grisly bastards. I, I generally think you're going to... I, I generally, by the way, I did a video, obviously, like two videos back. And my reaction when I saw the crones was quite genuine. They made me be a little bit of babysit came up in my mouth, especially when they said, oh, when they said, do you desire us? I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was all very, Ugh. anyway. So we're wandering into the darkness, going into the swamp. I've got everything I need, really, to be fair. So I don't really think they're going to do it, you know. Let me, <laughs> am I just the bodyguard then, essentially? Because I was about to say, am I here to just protect them? Which is probably true, I am. Come on. Wizardry? Uh, what wizardry? It's Drowner. Good. Um, that one. <laughs> I haven't seen that many all at once in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we'll find deeper in? That fear talking? Through you? Brawny bird? Who? Me? Fear? Not on your life. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace, show these horrors who's in charge. Right, go out here just to get... Right, okay, I just wanted to listen to that fucking banter. And I wanted to just do something else. Hang on a minute, no. Right, Geralt, the character... Okay, because now I'm level 12, I can do this. Okay. Add that. Upgrade there. Okay, gives me gives me a little bit more, you know, movement. A little bit more movement. Okay, so we're heading into the swamp. That's all good. I do think that the Baron has got, like, proper rose-tinted glasses and stuff like that. He's just got so much nostalgia. Right. Okay. Oh, come on. Right, there you go. That's you. I would like to keep as many people alive as I can. Just, yes. Okay. Now, hopefully, uh, sooner or later, I think at level 18, you get the cat screw, don't you? Because I'm trying to think of how long it's going to take me to get... Okay. Uh, back away, back away, back... I'll get killed then. Fuck it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Where's a horror like that come from? A wench does have too much hooch turns into that. So next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better off drinking it down yourself. Fair play. Right. Uh, okay, so we're nearly there. Not too bad. I'm liking it so far, uh, the whole fact that we're just traipsing through. Alright, it's not too bad. And I'm quite a... 
Because he did say that they Because last episode, of course, when we finished up the episode, he did say that the witch hunter kind of came here with... Uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, Tamara Streger, I think it is. And I don't really want to help them, to be fair, but Tell fuck it. Come on, back off. There we go. There we go. Right. Come on. There's no. Check up. Move. Right. Okay, good. I keep. I generally just forget. In the middle of a fight, I generally go. Oh yeah, I'm on death march. Yeah, I remember. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay. Right. And now for the conclusion. Change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Oh, Don't shut up. Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her. Uh. Well, I... See, I don't want to get involved, you see. I'm, I was just wanting the conclusion to see what happened with the Baron's story. I, well, okay. I am involved, so... Right, we... <laughs> well, fuck it, I'm just going to... I, I, this is what I want to say. I don't want to say this. Baron was the finest wife because that's obvious. Just we better fight Anna because if she's knocking around here somewhere, mate, I don't. I don't trust these crones not to do some diddling. Uh, right. Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Verily, I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! I don't mind she's pissed off. I like the, that Phil, you know, for being a, you know, well, for being a swine, as it is. But, like, Jesus Christ, the, the edgy, like, pissy shit. I can't get over with tomorrow. It just irks me to no end. Um, and they're going to go in there and get this so fucking shot. <laughs> Or not? Oh, what brave boys you are. And I like the difference in grammar because sorceress, I like sorceress, that's a quite a nice word. And then the witch. Don't. Mm, yeah, just. Okay. Over here! I didn't want to say anything, and I just wanted you to, to uh, let the emotions sink in a little bit there, and just give it a bit of breathing room. Mother. Is is that hurt? No. Impossible. 
we must do something. Witcher! Uh, Something's coming. Get ready. You know, I'm, I'm quite I'm quite a merciful man, as it is. Um, and she Wolf. seems quite benign and didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. The big thing. Oh, I can see the crows. Crows over there. Not crows. Crows. Can you? What the fuck? <laughs> They've come. Okay. Oh, come on. You'll spoil our feast. Ugh. Okay, so we've got you. One more drowner. Move out of the way. All right, there you go. Jeez, move out the fuck! Too many people. Jeez, I can kill all these freaks on my own. I just. Come on. Right, you die over there. You're good. Oh, mama. What are you? Let's kill this thing. Come on. Who is she talking to? Me. Me. Let's talk to me. Actually, tell her I want to. Just let me just. Yeah, go on. I just want to see what they do, really. Fine broth, you and me. <laughs> just trying. I'm just trying to want to see if they they're good or not. Okay, so we got to, we got Anna over here. She's doing a bit. Let's see you. The delicious warm broth. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Right, come on in, I'm bored. <laughs> right, come on in. There we go, right. And Fiend Dong. Ooh, lovely. Right. What was that? Looked a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches. When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What, what's wrong with her? Uh, yeah, could you calm down? Your just attitude irks me to no fucking end. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but girls, if you're out here, I promise you, please do not act like this. Obviously, she's going through some shit with her mum and everything. Obviously, that's quite distressing. I get you. I get that. Right, but just, you know, come on me fucking boots, alright? Because the attitude is... <laughs> <laughs> Look how overthinking I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, calm down. Calm. Easy. Shouting won't help. Calm That's down. right. Simple for you to say. How can I? That's my mother. Understand? Yeah. No shit. You, I, I'm gonna fucking hit this girl. I swear. You know what is wrong with the woman? Uh. Uh. Well, why? If I do some magical shit, are you gonna cut me down and then torture me like you did the witches in Overgrad? Don't think I'm not noticed that shit. All right. Just... <laughs> I like this man because he's civil, but the things he does just mm, irk me. Anyway, right, let's let's not beat around the bush. Uh, she's been cursed. Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crowns must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else, someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Anna, you stay here. Um, Tamara, stop being a stop being a pissy little bitch. Uh, you know, uh, Strega, uh, try not to drink and just chill out. It's all good. Are you are you hiccuping? You're not drunk. You promised me you're not going to drunk, you bastard. Right, um, and Gredin, don't be a fucking asshole. All right, so, right, visit Johnny's place. All right, let's go find Johnny, because any chance to have that man or the godling, I uh, shouldn't say man, man, <laughs> he's like a little boy. Oh, uh, any chance to have that uh, the lovely little godling in this video is just lovely. 
Oh, I pre oh shit, I preemptively did. Oh, you bastard. Fuck. I'm not even hitting you, am I? Nah, I'm not even trying. You know, I'm Whatever. Back the fucking dick. Anyway, sorry. And again, remember what I said like literally two minutes ago? Sometimes I do actually forget that I'm on death march, and then I get my ass kicked because I'm not paying attention. And that sadly is on me. Um, <laughs> right, Johnny, Johnny, where are you, man? Where are you at? Hang on, what's going on? How did I not notice you come around the other side? Fuck off, fuck off! No, no, no. Right, there you go. Man. Come on. Come on. Come on in, you silly swan bitch. Go on, go on. I got ya. Ha <laughs> That's it. Bernie, Bernie. Come on. Okay. Right, Johnny. Please tell me you're not hurt or anything. You, you... I'm... Please tell me they did not chase away my little Johnny. That just... Oh, no. Please Johnny. don't tell me. Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Ada Cat. Come the morning, right. some furry shot. Look around. It might be hiding nearby. No. Let me have a look. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here, fleeing something. Oh, please tell me he's not dead. That's gonna fucking kill me if it is. If just what's that over there? Sounds like a okay. Well, you know whatever that is over there. No, no, no. Please don't go over whatever that is over there. I don't wanna. Right, go on over here. Okay. Just. Check this out. Johnny, wake up. Oh, you are alive. Okay, okay. God bless. Thank you. See you soon. were those vile hags? Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without him? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. Okay, and then it... Oh, by the way, I, I am genuinely quite relieved that you're okay. Because when I clicked on this little hut, I thought it was just... Do you know what I mean? I didn't think I'd be clicking on it. I thought it was just looting shit, but... Oh, thank God you're alive, Johnny. God bless. Seriously, just... <laughs> thank Melissa Lay. Thank God. Thank Allah. Thank whoever the fuck Buddha, whoever... <laughs> Thank God, this little boy's alive. <laughs> right, but any idea what happened to Anna? So you saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Amen. And why did the weaver sneak Gran's hair? What, what was that about? Some voodoo shit? What's going on, Johnny? What's that? Why did the weaver need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. I've just... Hang on a minute. I've just realised that they kind of remind me of the, the three sisters from the three ugly... Jesus Christ. You know the three from Hercules where they literally snip in the hair and they control the fate of man because of that whole... It's very similar. It's very interesting. Especially from Sabbath Law and then going into... Hmm. Very interesting. 
I look at that later. Actually, to be fair, that's quite a good, quite a good uh, um, kind of connection there. Hercules with the three sisters, quite ugly, sharing one eye and whatever like that. And one of them's they're all covered except for one girl who's got one eye. This is very yes, it's very reminiscent. Sorry, I just had a spark of, <laughs> you know what I mean. I just thought, hang on a minute. Anyway, so sorry. Um, what's beyond the door? Take a look under the door. I look like a fool to you. No, you do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. I heartily agree to that statement. <laughs> hey, curiosity killed the cat, but it's fine to go up to the point where the knife starts. You know what I'm saying? Um, right, and what happened next there, Johnny? Go on. Let, let me hear your lovely voice before I don't get to see you until... No, until I don't know when I'm going to get to see Nov uh, Novigrad. I don't know when I'm going to see Johnny. Uh, like if I, when I, uh, you know, when I go off to Novigrad and everything. So, uh, yeah. Stay in the chest until the crown's left. I wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor. Started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest. Thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged him to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the whispers says, Run, boy, run before your legs rot off. They all laughed and I legged it. Right, and, then, and, and what now? Go on. I... <laughs> I love this boy's. Ex I, sorry, I, I say boy and man or interchange, whatever. This godling, this godling has like the best. Just, <laughs> just why do I, why do I, why does this have to be the last episode? I get to enjoy you. Oh yeah. Just, uh, anyway, sorry, I'm just getting all misty eyed, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> the conclusion. Oh, fantastic. Anyway, sorry, right. What now? What now, Johnny? Go on. You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do. But I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide. And I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? Hmm. I'm going back. I'm. Uh, yeah, because I think I can... Um, I think if it's some voodoo shit, maybe if we go down into the cellar, maybe confront this shit or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going back, Johnny, to be fair. There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Farewell, Goblin. Farewell. Can I... Okay, I'm just going to try and speak to him one more time. No. Or... Oh, I want to... Johnny! Right, hang on. No, Good I got. I... To you, save Gran, please. Got me fingers crossed. All right, that's enough. That's that's the chapter for Johnny over then, I suppose. Oh, Johnny. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. My life is a little bit less. It's a little bit less without Johnny in The Witcher Three. I know that sounds fucking stupid, but it is just a good written character, very wholesome, very endearing young chap, and I quite like him. So, yes, he's a fantastic writing by Cedar Burry Red, but. Subsequently, we've got uh, Anne to take care of now. Let me just, there we go. Um, right, so first of all, t tell the others what happened to Anna. All right. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, and disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house, so the door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. I'm going alone. Or do I want to... No, fuck it, because if there's some goody down there, uh, yeah. Let me go in first. I'll give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. Understood. Okay. Fair enough. You know, if they didn't kill sorceresses... Right, in fairness, and they just killed like actual fucking weird swamp shit. You know what I mean? Like I do, but the human version where they just use the sacred fire. If they didn't do that, and they no, if they did do that, they didn't kill sorceresses, and they had his attitude, I would not mind the witch hunters. But seeing as they're a bunch of fucking, 
weird fucking, I don't even know. <laughs> Just a bunch of pissed off inquisitory Catholics or some shit. But anyway, right, anyway, right. Into the cellar. Uh, right. Hello? What's going on here? So this is like, this is actually quite I reminiscent of proper, pa proper pagan shit. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The mm. trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Uh, okay. Um, you do know a lot, awful lot about this kind of stuff for someone who basically detests magic, so, yeah. Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. Hmm. Interesting. It, it does. It does give us like a little, a little tidbit of the Eternal Fire's like machinations in the fucking world of the Witcher Three, and I quite like that too. But anyway, um, let's get to the point at hand. Uh, mentioned a risk. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. I'm just telling you right now, it's the one with the hollow hook because remember, this is the this is the beautiful thing about uh, or things coming in full circle. Now, obviously, we're going to go through all of them, right? That's that's as it is. I know it's the holly hook because remember what the Baron said when we were in the garden. Um, he said the holly hook is uh, Anna's favorite flower. She used to be tending it there. She used to tend it. And she used to be quite content with that. So I know it's that because the the rest of it doesn't really fit because it wasn't the ear. As we're going, th we're going to go through it anyway. But attached to this one, belong to one of the peasants. Doubtless, Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. Right, and because uh, I just want, <laughs> I want full detail. Okay, go on. Okay, the red bead. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg. This cannot be the one. True. Alright. I'll look at the others. And the bird feathers? Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. That might seem obvious, but what if it's a ruse and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Under what context, sir? Under what context? It's quite interesting about the filler because if they were owl owls, if they were owl feathers, I kind of. Feel, but the thing is, this is something. Okay, this is something I've just thought about, and that's quite interesting, right? Right. These are obviously other. Right, people, right? And we've got four hit four? Yeah, one, two, three, whatever. Um, who did these represent? Because they must be out in the world. Because CD Project Red wrote this stuff, right? They wrote this stuff. So obviously there must be someone out there in the wider world. I'm thinking bird feathers, raven. I mean, the only Yennefer Vengerberg, maybe, because she always wears their feather garbs and everything like that. But even then, do you know what I mean? There's got to be. So I want to know if this is on Ex. I'm going to message Ex Latalis on Twitter and just clip this and just go. Look, is is there any connection between these four for other people in the world? Because obviously we know it's the um, Hollyhock, but Doubtful. anyway, right. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. Hmm. Right. Uh. And obviously, so we got one, two, three, four. Human ear. Right. Okay. The human ear was uh from the from the dude in Down Warren, the Elderman. Right. Because he's missing an ear. That's his. Uh, the bird feather and then the red bead is okay. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. Um, the doll with the violet hollyhock bloom. Right. 
Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? I absolutely do. Yes, I do. We're going to be taking it. And I do apologize, by the way, out there. Because you, if you can't be fucked with me talking all the time, I, like, I'm not going to apologize for it because it's just me. Because I'm, 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 what I can only surmise, right, is a uh, verbal thinker. That's how I process shit. I need to think and go over it as I say it. So just just, just, just give me that, okay? Do put. Uh, well, no, I, I'm not going to apologize for it because it's me. Uh, but. Uh, you know, I'm going to try and, you know, rein it in a little bit. Because if I have to sit here and fucking analyse every single fucking bit for half an hour, it's going to take ages. Anyway, right. Yes, I'm taking it. Let's fucking do this. Right. Let's go. I'm sure it is. Taking it. Quick, outside. You're back. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy. I'm dying. She's not well. Raving. Doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell, but now I must go. What's she talking about, Witcher? No way we can help her. The crones tricked. No way we can help her. Is this where she dies, or the crones tricked us? No way we can help. I don't like this. It's too pessimistic for me. But I, I, I do think they trick tricked us. It's they didn't trick us, or mm, again, I, I don't want to overthink it. So let's just, oh, let's let's have the cursing play out. Mm. The crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's. Good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy. Do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. And your dress so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. Hmm. Okay. None of this was your doing. I know. Which makes it more easier to bear. The pain will pass in time. I'd like to believe that. I would. You may Where have has... with her. Then we must bury her and return to the land. Very well. Very well, okay. I like the fact that we gave her one last chance of normality because I hope he's not I hope fucking Strang is not gonna do something fucking stupid. But I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to tomorrow one last time and then I'm gonna go speak to the Baron over there. Leave me alone! Oh, okay. Fuck you then. Why do you have to be such a fucking miserable cunt? Jesus. <laughs> Philip Stringer, you got yourself a fucking. Hang on a minute. Where where am I at? Okay, we're gonna go back and talk to the Baron. Okay, I'm fit. I just please don't do anything stupid, Phil. Please don't do anything stupid. 
Okay. And I said we're going to finish this, so we're going to we're going to do it to the end. We're going to see what happens and leads to the Baron. Ah, oh, it's one of those, really. Okay. Return to Crick Back Bog. I wanted to do this before. Obviously, I've said this multiple times, and I said it last time as well. That I want to do this whole thing and finish Velen off. Make sure it's complete. Nice, tidy little bow before we proceed and push off to Novograd and the next chapter of the game and all that kind of thing. So, um, whatever happens here in the conclusion, we made the choice to save the children in the swamp. We did that. I'd rather save the children than anything else. And uh, we gave them both the last chance to say farewell to uh, Anna before she died. Not looking good, I tell you. Mm, right. No. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Was he? Was he? Dr yeah. Did you? Was he drunk or anything? No. You help him. Himself? Or did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected it. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice. And never look back. Mm, he lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier. But settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. But that there is something for another time. Another way of being, another harrowing demise of Philip Stringer. Well, we made the choice, and obviously we uh I really hate I really hate to end on this kind of note, but we made the choice. We we did it. Um Philip Stringer um lost his life. He killed himself as you can plainly see and uh yeah that's the end of uh Velen, of course until um next episode where we're going to be doing a lovely stream um i'm going to go around finish up some different finish up some, th some things secondary quests that kind of thing and um see where we are before we head off to novigrad so um on that morbid quite somber note i thank every single one of you for coming by this lovely little video Showing that you're love and support, and um, hopefully you're going to go out there and give CD Projekt your love. And, and uh, the writing in this is grey and um, sometimes quite dark, but um, that's the way of writing and the way of life. Um, not everything's perfect, and not everything leads to um, happily ever after. Um, so with a somber farewell, but um, hopefully you're going to go out there and do a little bit of kindness yourself. Because a smile is the best shield to any sort of ill will in the world it's beautiful so without further ado thank you very much for coming across this video take care out take care out there in the wider world and i'll see you next time bye bye